today we're going to be looking at interval notation. We're going to figure out the interval notation given a number line graph. So let's look at our first example. We have this graph um, of a number line and many times the number line does not show zero. It's not represented in that portion of the number line and that's totally okay. Here we're representing the number line from negative one down to negative five, but these arrows mean that it keeps going this direction and this direction. The interval notation is representing the shaded area from left to right. So if I start on the left side of my graph, what is the first thing that is notated, that is shaded? So I would go over here and then I've got this circle here on negative four. So that's going to be the first thing that we write for our interval notation is negative four. And then you're going to put a comma and then you're going to tell me where does this end. So if I keep going from left to right, I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. All of this is shaded, but it stops being shaded at negative one. So this is where it starts shading and this is where it ends shading. But we do need to talk about why these two are different. So we have, per, I mean, a um, circle that's open here. It's an open circle. And then here we have a closed circle. We're going to represent that in interval notation using parentheses or brackets. And I can give you a little key here. If you have an open circle, then you're going to use one of these. You're either going to use the open parentheses or the closed parentheses. You're not using both. You're just going to put it on the side with the number that's represented. If you have a closed circle, you're going to use a bracket. And so let's look at our problem. Negative four is an open circle. That tells me that I need to use a parentheses here with negative four. The parentheses represents that negative four out on the graph is an open circle and is not included in the interval. So it's parentheses, I'm not including negative four, but I am going to include all the numbers up to negative four. Very, very close, but not actually negative four. But we use negative four as a starting place, but the parentheses represents it's not included in that interval. And then negative one has a closed circle. That means it is in the interval. We are wanting negative one in our, on our graph and in our interval notation. So we represent that with a bracket. So that is your interval notation for number one. Let's look at number two. Write an interval notation. And this one's a little different. We have an open circle here, but it keeps shading all the way to the arrow. So it's not starting and stopping. It does start at a certain place, but it keeps going. So how do we represent this? So let's set, uh, start with what I was saying. Start from the left side. What happens was the first thing to happen going from the left, right here at one. We have something on the graph there. So this is our starting place. We're gonna start at one. And this is going to continue all the way. And the arrow means that it would keep going, 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 going. How do we represent on and on forever in mathematics? And that is represented with infinity. Now let's put our parentheses or bracket. So our one has an open circle. That means we don't want it included in our interval. So we're going to use a parentheses. And infinity, that's not really one number. That goes on and on forever. So it's really hard to say that a certain number is included in our interval because we can't name that number. Um, so anytime you, see anytime you see infinity, we're going to use parentheses on that side too. So no matter what side the parentheses, excuse me, no matter what side the infinity is on, it gets a parentheses. All right, I wanna make a quick note here. Notice that the arrow points to the right. It's shading to the right. That's always the side 
that the infinity is on. As in, whatever side is shaded, that's the side the infinity is on. So if it shades the other direction, it is going to have infinity pointed in another direction. So let's see if we can figure out what is the interval notation for this third problem. So on this one, where does it start? Well, on the left side, it keeps going, 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 going. So I can't really write just one number here on my interval notation. So if it keeps going, again, remember that's infinity. I'm shading to the left. Infinity is on the left in my interval notation. However, if this number line was to extend, this would be 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and now we're heading negative direction, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And that's really important because infinity, we want to give a direction. We want to know, are we going to the positive infinity side or are we going to the negative infinity side? So on this one, we're going to the left. That will eventually get to the negative numbers. So we want to say this is a negative infinity. Where does this graph end on the right-hand side? So if it goes from negative infinity, where does it stop? It stops at 11. So that will be our end number. Are we including 11 in the interval? Yes, because this is a closed circle. So let's talk parentheses or brackets. If it's infinity, I don't have a certain number that I need to include, so I'm going to put parentheses. If it is a closed circle, I am including that number, so I'm going to put a bracket. So just to recap, if it's an open circle, it gets parentheses. If it's a closed circle, it gets a bracket. If it is either negative infinity or regular infinity, positive infinity, those both get parentheses depending on which one you use, depending on which direction it's pointing. If you shade to the right, your infinity is on the right-hand side in your interval. If you shade to the left, your infinity is on the left-hand side in the interval, but it's negative because you're going in the negative direction. I hope this helped learn to learn interval notation for today.